A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives. Yeah, but on the I won't talk to over. A <coughs> you know, for interesting lift banter. And also to see if I can actually work out how not to get incredibly lost. I don't understand why I'm so directionally challenged in game. It's like the moment you put a shiny sci-fi coating on everything, I'm be careful when you say that around. I'm lost. Everyone knows fist is with the local criminals. It's out of my hands, Rita. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. <laughs> We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? I'm, I'm so owner, lost. Cook. I'm now just That's talking the to the bartender I slash owner cook. To dance a little when the mood strikes me. Ooh! We've got some quasar stations. Uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. You really want me to play on a quasar station? I don't remember what quasar is. I feel like it was gambling. Okay, okay, it's it's twenty one. But I didn't mean to come into the gambling club. I got lost. Ah, a uh, a rapid transit point. Good. Good, because I'm lost. Cora's dead, please. Why is take you know, a nice casual stroll to Cora's death. I have no clue where I ended up. How I ended up there. Looks like it shut down. <clears throat> Shit. Locked and loaded. Garrus! Garrus! Get your ass out my face! Garrus! Goodness sake, are we just chasing each other around this table? <laughs> right, let's just. Yeah, you've got your shotgun equipped. Good old, good old Rexy with his shotgun. Ooh, fire containment system. I want it. Stop 
right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse one. <coughs> All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I I suggest you There's leave. Time to find else We've got a Krogan with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. <laughs> I never like fist anyway. I suggest you leave. We have a Krogan with a shotgun. We're gonna just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. We would have there would have been paperwork for that, you know. Law would have got involved. What proof Sauron is corrupt? We can't go shooting everyone if that's what we're gonna do. Get behind the cover, you, you absolute fu you fucker. Get in the Oh, now you get into cover. After Garrus has fallen unconscious on the fucking ground. Kill that Yep, thanks for the raid in. I am uh, trying not to die in Cora's den. It's not going well. I could not get into cover. Looks like it shut down. Right, this time, will you not get in the way? Of... This time, I don't have Garrus just standing in the way. Eat the Krogan. <laughs> yep, we are we are raiding a place. The Krogan wasn't down. I did not put him down. I forgot about you guys. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Uh, the stream's yeah, going yeah, right. well. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I never liked My throat anyway. is slowly dying, though. It would have been quicker to um, just kill yelling them. about my companions occasionally standing in the line of fire is a, a bit of a nightmare. Nice to meet you too, Matt. Oh, let's just try not to cough up a lung. Yeah, yeah, the cover can be... Can you... Are you in it? Yeah, you're in it this time. Um, can we sabotage that, please? 
and also wall pit. Uh, because they just get eat through our sheets. No, no, get back in cover, please. Long. Can I eat a turret? Nope, eating the turret did nothing. Aspect okay. I'm not the uh, the best at FPSs. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. <laughs> the Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You're a, you're a bitch. Let's go, let's go save a quarry. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Uh, I'm not gonna stop you from shooting him, Rex. Nope, go ahead. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Uh You know what? A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Yeah, this is this is the first real stream. I am liking Mass Effect. I forgot how finickety the cover was in Mass Effect 1. Um And I'm now on a countdown, that's good. Why won't the door open? Run back! Run back! Run back! <laughs> I wasn't expecting the other guy to run out of cover towards me, I'm not gonna lie. Punching a man did very little. Oh. I I will be honest. Sometimes I just don't question what happens. Um, what what way am I going? Where where am I going? think she's gonna die. Nope, no, it's fine, I found her. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? I I would no think need. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I would also fake my own death if a Krogan came after me. Oh. I nearly just shot a keeper in the back of the head. I... Hallie! I appreciate, but... Mm -hmm. 
The box just kept getting moved back by the shotgun. me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. <coughs> Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh, let's say a friend if you got evidence My against Sauron. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? Hmm. It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Well, that's Saren's voice. That's a smoking this gun. He was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology, like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Um, well, y you know those weird Vision dreams? <laughs> I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They, they, they are, but they do need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Um, what about your, you your, your pilgrimage for the flotilla? The pilgrimage
message proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? That is a point. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. You never know, you could find something shiny. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Now I could take Ashley for just pure combat, but how can I leave Rex behind? Yeah, Tally. Tally is amazing. Tally. Tally. One of the best characters. Just, just amazing. Love Tally. Um. But yeah. Can't can't leave Rex behind. Rex is Rex is Rex. I can just let him charge him with a shotgun. But yeah, we'll probably probably gonna wind down a little. Try not get too lost. Um, I'm gonna talk to the council. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? However, uh, let's talk to this random Commander man Shepherd, first. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Uh, I'm I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. And uh, she's dead. That my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Oh, there ain't a body to give you. You you have a lovely night. I'm probably going to be calling it soon anyway. My throat is dying and it is getting late. Um Um but yeah, I've now got to explain to a man why he can't have his wife's body back. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Oh! There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. I'll, I'll help. Here. I think I know the why. The in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. You know what? We'll sort out this man's wife's funeral. Um, and then we'll call it a night there, I think. Mostly because if I don't sort out this man's wife's funeral, I'll forget about this man's wife's funeral. But yeah, Matt, have a nice night. Um. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So you're studying her injuries you're testing. to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Um. It, right, I thought I thought it had been like. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who we could raid. Uh, is there anyone currently on we could raid into, or? Um. I'm gonna just get this woman's body released because I thought it had been spiked, but it turns out no. Understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I I understand how far you must go, but like 
Mate, I've got the expert on gas technology standing to my left. Just ask her. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. All right. There we go. We got a man's wife body back. Yeah, I will. There we go. Move over to that. 